What's up guys, what's going on? As you can see in front of me, we got a little Adidas box here and a, like a matte black finish. It's actually a really nice box considering it's just cardboard, but the finish is pretty dope. So you got sneakers and stuff from Sweden and you got uh, social status from North Carolina. Uh, they wrote like a whole backstory about why they teamed up the two of them, the growth in the two stores, yada, yada, yada. Uh, you guys been seeing two pairs of shoes come out of Consortium Series this year. Uh, either a boost in something else or a boost in something else, whatever have you, but let's just get right into this review. I'm gonna turn it up, show you what size I got. I got a size 11. Um, so I, I did try it on and it was a little bit snug in the 10 and a half and I don't know, back and forth with the Ultra Boost all, since I've been copying them, I've been going back and forth between 10 and a half and 11. Some 10 and a half is good, some 11 is good. So you just, honestly, it's hard. I know it's hard to try them on because they're so hard to get your hands on, but uh, try, try to go TTS, TTS or 0.5 up, depending. Plus it's a sock liner, so it's not that big a deal. Let's just get right into this. I'm gonna pop these bad boys open or just pull them out. So, overall, pretty fire. I've been saying this for quite a little bit now. Black and white seems to be the way everybody's going with these Ultra Boost. I'm actually wearing the reigning champs, champs right now. Uh, I'll throw a picture up, uh, see them on foot. But, I mean, it, they're kind of killing it though. I'm not gonna lie, black and white in different variations across the forefront of the foot here in the toe box area, uh, the side paneling where they just stuck with the white on the upper ankle area and like the black and white towards the mid body of it, it, it it's clean. They did a white portion across the, the lower grommet area for the cage. <sighs> Even though it's black and white, it has a lot of variation to it and feels different, which is nice. So right off the bat, you got this little tape across the front here. It's restrictive tape, it gives it a different look. Uh, people have been saying they like it a lot. People have been saying they don't like it a lot, but either way, I think it adds like a nice little flair to the front portion of, of the uh, the toe box here. Um, it's like welded technology, but it's just taping, nothing too crazy. You got a suede cage, which is really nice. Uh, feels really good, pretty premium. Uh, a little brush stroke on there, not too crazy. I'll bring a little closer so maybe you guys can see a little bit better. I'll change the lighting on the video itself so you can probably see it as more of an ash color. Uh, but it is a solid black, which is nice to see. Also, you also have a leather liner on the tongue or the front portion of the uh, the sock liner, which is pretty, it's a pretty nice hit, pretty clean. You got a little black grommet in there, S and S on the front portion. I'm gonna assume you got a little social status emblem on the other one. I'll bring a little closer so you guys can see it. Try and keep it in the light for you. And I'll keep this in the light for you so you can see it. Give it a little glare so you see the S and S. Overall, very, very clean, well executed. They did different branding on both footbeds, but you have the consortium series on the inside there. So the right foot has the sneakers and stuff and the left foot has the social status symbol. Pretty clean. Um, really not much more to talk about the shoe. The back heel counter has the black. The Ultra Boost isn't in a different color as they usually do the monochrome on the back portion here. And they do it in like a metallic silver or whatever it is and it throws the color off. This is just a, a raised black Ultra Boost on both identical so you guys can see that everything is identical on both shoes except for you know the branding on the tongue portion and the uh, footbed portion you got your boost midsole uh oh overall it's very very clean black outsole as you can see here continental whatever you want to go with on that very, it's 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 a well constructed shoe you got extra laces uh it looks like a black and silver speckled or possibly white speckled rope lace maybe i'll throw one in for the on foot but i think it's actually white so it's a white speckle across the rope lace not in your traditional rope lace speckling where they go a little zigzag through the whole thing it looks like it's it's zigzag but it's very well spaced out so give you a little variation in the colorway of the uh, the lace itself very very clean uh on foot i'll probably do a couple of those just because it's my size and i want to wear them and uh that's going to be it for this review if you guys aren't subscribed yet don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like the content shoot me a thumbs up and uh peace